This is a demonstration of the insulation in 2009 F-150. This particular model is a Lariat. console. Yep. Take this eight millimeter out here and the same thing on this side. Now that all the bolts are out, just slide the console back. These tabs are really the only thing holding it after the bolts are out. So if you just give it a good pull going to unlock it. Okay. Make sure the steering wheel is all the way down and you'll have plenty of room. On there. seven millimeter down here, which is the reason we moved the console out of the way. There. And you're just going to pull this panel off and undo the plug here in the rear. Okay, and we're basically going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, this one's a little, a little different, but first take the seven millimeter out. Then we go to the uh, underneath the glove box to the airbag. This is inside the uh, glove box. There's going to be three eight millimeter bolts we're going to remove. This is a view with the uh, screws removed. So you can visualize which ones were removed before we go to the next step. It just kind of unpops. The airbag module moved out of the way. That'll expose a screw. We're going to take this top one out and then let us pull this uh, right hand trim piece. Away. Also a connector on the back side. We're gonna unplug. Right now I'm gonna take this rubber trim panel off right here. Just kind of manipulate it. Kind of move it up out of the way. We got two seven millimeter bolts up top. On the back side, let me demonstrate what you're trying to do when you reach your hand around to try to release this. You're just going to push in these two clips on the side, and then it comes free. Let's see 
you access the last remaining screw there. Or bolt. Set it in here. Pull forward on the panel. And, uh, a couple connectors up here. One, two, and two down here on this particular model. Uh, this is the one going to the FCIM, the front control information module. To gain access to the rear of the radio, you're going to take the screen out first. There's four screws around the outside edge. This will pull forward. We'll remove some connectors off the back side, and then we'll get to the harness on the radio itself. With the screen pulled forward, we can now remove the connector from the back side. Now the radio is pulled free, it exposes the connectors in the back side. This is where we're going to connect the uh, lockpick harness. This is a simple plug-in harness using factory connectors, so it's going to be plug and play. What we'll do is disconnect a couple of connectors on the back of the radio, plus an antenna connection, and plug them directly into our harness. And then the other side of our harness will plug right back into the same spots again. So it's very simple, plug and play, just takes a few minutes. The connectors have locking tabs that you press in first. That releases the connector so you can pull it free. They're also keyed so you can't put them in the wrong location. Very simple. And that completes the installation of the connectors. Last step is to plug in the module itself. The module is equipped with dip switches on it. These set the options that you want for your particular vehicle and how you're going to set it up. In this case here, we're not going to use a front cam or a baby cam, so we have switch number two in the down position, and yours will be set up according to what options you want to enable. Finally, we plug in the uh, interface harness. Again, it's keyed. It'll only go in one way. And now you're finished with your installation. Now it's a matter of reassembling testing and enjoying your lockpick.